Welcome back to Trigger King RCTV. It's Event 1 Pro Mod Bracket 2. Wide open monster truck racing. These trucks are fast. The fastest in the Trigger King series. As we take a look at the qualifying results, our top qualifier goes to Goblin, Chris Hackinson. A brand new gimmick, brand new identity for 2024. Taking a look at the top qualifiers and our track diagram. You might notice if you joined us last time out, it is similar to our last racetrack. A couple things changed around. This time, truck starting back to back and heading outside as we've got Chris Blank and Ballistic Orange 2 and Avenger Chris Lane on the line on the track. The 16 and 17 qualifiers. Problems for Blank right off the start and Avenger wins the round one opener. Old Gray and NWO. Danny Borgers, we've seen him before. He's expanded his lineup of trucks and he's joining us for more of the Trigger King classes. But right now, Chris Hackinson, he was a rookie last year, but he knocked those stripes off quickly. And he's been looking good on the circuit with the win in NWO. Right now, Sudden Impact and Rotten Apple TLR. And all four J Concepts body match up. And this one goes to the Super Duty Sudden Impact Jeremy Mark. Equalizer number 20 and Irreparable Damage number 13. Waiting for the light. Drivers on the line waiting patiently. Parrish has struggled a little bit with this weekend as missed the tire set up on the trucks. And there you're seeing it. Equalizer all over the place as irreparable damage rolls easily to victory. Purple Haze, Andy Salerno, and Helia and Aaron James. James, great with suspension set up. That truck in the far lane landing perfectly. He's looking smooth, making it look easy out there. Aaron James with the win in Hellion. Watch out for him, he could be strong today. Rotten Apple, Doug Welker back on the line with his standard LMT truck. I believe this one's got all trail equipment underneath it so not exactly your standard LMT but it's not the TLR Chris Lane in the near lane also with an LMT and stomper but the wind going to go to Rotten Apple Gunslinger Michael Spurlock and Keith Voigt USA 1 Gunslinger, the number seven qualifier. USA one, the number 26. And Keith with all kinds of issues in the near lane. The win goes to Gunslinger. Number 10, Taurus, Jeremy Mark. And Bigfoot one, driven by Keith Vogt. Jeremy bringing back the 2005 Taurus identity. Looking good out there. Taurus takes that win. Underpowered and wild hair. Andy Salerno and Troy Haas. Salerno off to a nice jump. This is our final pair in round number one. No, I take that back. We've got one more. Both trucks a little out of shape. Salerno responds, reacts, and corrects, and takes the win. Now we move to our final pair in round number one. The number 11 and 22 qualifiers, Atomic Orange 3 and Mad Dog. 
Mad Dog all out of shape. He blew the second corner and now rolls the truck over. Blank just has to get to the finish line. Realizes the competition having issues and backs it down and makes it safely across the finish line. Round number two of action, Goblin, the number one qualifier making his first appearance, and Avenger, Chris Lane, the number 16 qualifier. Lane went deep in the bracket in bracket number one. Can he do it again? And it looks like, yes, Goblin, the number one qualifier. Huge issues, and Chris Lane and Avenger takes down the number one. Atkinson right back up on the line, looking for some redemption. NWO versus Sudden Impact. NWO behind and again issues through the center section. Sudden Impact rolling down the back stretch, backing it back down a little bit, making sure he makes a clean pass and taking the victory to move to round three. Zeus, the number four qualifier, and irreparable damage, Isaac Ankrum, number 13. Will it be lucky? Will it be unlucky? Let's see what happens. Zeus off to a lead. Zeus hung up on the jersey barrier and then misses the obstacle, rolling over and giving the win to irreparable damage. Iron Aaron Jane's right back up on the line with Hellion for a second shot, but he's got a tough matchup. The number five qualifier, Firestone Wilderness. Jane's in trouble again, misses the second obstacle, misses the second turn, and then rolls it over for good measure. Firestone Wilderness takes the win. On the line now. It's number two, Red Rocket, Isaac Ankrum, and number 15, Rotten Apple, Doug Welker. Ankrum off to a quick lead, but it's still tight, and problems over the tabletop for Welker. That gives the win to the Red Rocket, moving on to number three. Gunslinger, number seven, Michael Spurlock, and number 10, Taurus, Jeremy Mark. Mark, number three in points last season, off to a lead, but here comes Spurlock, it's tight. Mark, all out of shape on the final straightaway, gives it away to the Gunslinger. Number three, Firestone Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler, and underpowered Andy Salerno, the number 14. Salerno off to a good lead. Chandler in all sorts of trouble. Salerno a little bit wide, but if he can make a smooth pass, he'll go to the next round, and indeed, Salerno knocks off the number three qualifier with underpowered. Right. Our final pair in round number two, number six Indominus and number 11 Atomic Orange three. Parish a little bit behind in the far lane, blank looking solid. Fairly tight coming to the final straightaway, but Blank, smooth and solid, takes the victory. Moving to round three. As we move on to round three right now, Avenger Chris Lane and Sudden Impact Jeremy Mark. Mark in all kinds of trouble. The win is going to easily go to Chris Lane as he goes to another semifinals. Two semifinals back to back. Looking good for the return of Chris Lane. Right now though, it's irreparable damage and Firestone Wilderness.
That actually looks like Red Rocket out there in the near lane. I wonder if Ankrum snuck one by the officials. Though the trucks are really identical, but nonetheless, Firestone Wilderness takes the victory. Red Rocket back on the line. Okay, they caught it. Red Rocket in the pair that he's supposed to be in and Gunslinger. Red Rocket with problems in turn two. Gunslinger a little wide, but holding it smooth. Red Rocket goes down to the Gunslinger as Gunslinger moves to the semifinals. Atomic Orange 3 and right. underpowered. Salerno in the near lane with a huge jump but blows the second turn, giving the lead back to Blank. Then Blank in the orange truck blows the corner. Who's going to win? That was a comedy of errors, but on the final straightaway, Blank gets the power down and Atomic Orange goes off for the win. Semi-final round, the final four. Firestone Wilderness and Avenger. Bob C. Chandler, Chris Lane. Chandler in trouble. Lane a little bit wide, but still on track. And Avenger takes the win, knocking off the defending champion, going to his first final round. Gunslinger, Michael Spurlock, and Atomic Orange 3, Chris Blank. Spurlock and Gunslinger working the throttle on this tricky surface and taking the win. Gunslinger moves to the final round. This sets up a wild finals to relative newcomers in their first final round appearance. Avenger, Chris Lane, the 16 qualifier, number seven, Gunslinger, Michael Spurlock, who takes the title? Spurlock Gunslinger may have missed that obstacle, but no matter. In the far lane, taking his first racing bracket victory, Chris Lane with Avenger takes ProMod bracket number two. Congratulations, Chris. With two very consistent performances, that gives Chris Lane the overall victory for the day across the two brackets. He is our event one champion, and he leads the points right now. But there's a lot of action still to come. Make sure you join us every time out on TKRC TV. We've got three different classes of action for you to enjoy. We've got more coming up. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.